the company wants to allow managers, like John, to issue smart cards for contractors, like Ken. FIMCM allows this kind of self-service, but requires some rather complex permission settings. One of the things we need to do is to install the FIMCM client software on John's workstation. Using 64 or 32 bit version depends on the version of Internet Explorer John uses. Be aware that even though the operating system is 64 bit, it might be using a 32 bit version of IE. We then need to configure the permissions and build the policy to allow John to issue a smart card on behalf of the camp. In this demo, I will use the user accounts directly to make it easier to follow. But in reality, we would create groups for each role and make John and Kent members of each group. On the service connection point in AD, John needs to be assigned the administrative permissions he needs. John then needs the permission on Kent's AD object to act as enrollment agent. We then need to create a certificate template that we intend to use for this scenario. In our case, the template should contain the smart card logon usage. So, we create a duplicate of the smart card logon template. The company is issuing the contractor smart cards for three months. If John wants his contractor to be able to use it longer, he will just renew the certificate for his contract. On this template, both the user Ken and the enrollment agent John will need to have enrolled permission. In FIMCM, we can now define the profile template that will define how the enrollment, renewals, etc. will be done. We start off by making a copy of one of the templates available and giving it a descriptive name. We then define that it should use our newly created certificate template. Remember to remove the one you are not using. As you can see, the profile template has a lot of settings, so we will only look at those relevant to our case. Within the smart card configuration, I recommend you start off by using a manual PIN and not to diversify the admin key. If you diversify the admin key, the smart card can only be managed using FIMCM from here on. For each workflow step listed in the navigator, on the left we can then define who and how each step should be formed. Enroll policy is essential in our scenario. First, we require it to use an enrollment agent. Then give John the initiate enroll request and the enroll agent permission within the profile template. The law setting is one that you easily miss. You need to assign permission to the profile template object in AD as well, allowing both John, the enrollment agent, and Ken, the target user, enroll permission. Finally, all pieces are in place, and John can try accessing the FIMCM portal. By doing this, through his client machine, with the FIMCM client software installed, he is now able to issue a smart card to Ken using the portal. Once the smart card is finished, he can hand it over to Ken along with a PIN. If we have the FIMCM client software installed on Ken's workstation as well, he will be able to use the FIMCM portal to manage his smart card.
like changing the pin. TIMCM requires many small configuration steps in order to allow for self-service management of certificates. But the flexibility you gain is very high and you also get a secure way of allowing users to manage the smart card. This was the last part of the last section in this screencast. I hope you have enjoyed watching. If you have any follow-up questions, I urge you to visit my blog at kunab.com and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching this screencast.